Hi guys, this is Taylor. I'm wearing a noisy jacket. It's chilly. Today I wanted to talk about books that I have changed my mind about, whether it be an upgrade or a downgrade. Sometimes it does take a little bit of time for me to really figure out how I feel about a book, either to understand it or to make the proper brain connections. So today I thought I'd share some books whose ratings changed over time. I think I'll start with the negatives and just get those out of the way. First up is Viral by Emily Mitchell. This is a debut short story collection, I believe. I was really anticipating this because the author was being compared to Karen Russell, George Saunders, the big shots of short stories. And then I got an arc, which made me even more excited. I read it and my prevailing feeling was, yeah, that was pretty good. And then some time passed, and the more time that went by, the less fond my memories grew. My main problem with this collection now is that the stories are just all over the place, to the point where it seems like they could have been written by different authors. There are maybe two that have a really strong authorial voice, and it goes from those strong, vaguely weird sci-fi stories to just realistic, contemporary blahness. I also feel like the vast majority of her reveals or twists were just not interesting in the slightest. So this went from a three star to a two star. Sorry, Emily Mitchell. Next up for the downgrades is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Oh boy. I've mentioned on this channel that I was a big fan of John Green growing up, have since moved away from it, partially just because I grew up and that's okay, but partially because I did come to realize the things that are wrong or icky about The Fault in Our Stars in particular. So I read this the day it came out in one sitting, gave it five stars, yahoo! And then when it really started to blow up and there started to be some dissenting opinion, I became really interested in what the other half had to say about it. I did watch a couple videos pointing out how it does romanticize cancer and that it is very much a condition story and if you remove the cancer from the characters, they become pretty flat. So yeah, I downgraded this. I haven't properly re-rated it, and uh, those are my feelings. So now let's talk about some books that, given some time, I came to really like. The first is going to be Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin, which, as you may recall, was one of my top five reads of last year. So basically what happened with Giovanni's Room was, while I was reading it, I was like, yes! This is good. Not amazing, but pretty good. And then as soon as I finished it, as soon as I closed the book, there was just this... And everything in this just hit me all at once. All of the pain, all of the dread just hit me all at once right here. And I just realized the beauty of it and the scale of it. Yeah. This went from a wishy-washy 4 to a 5. Next, I want to talk again about Thirsty by M.T. Anderson. I want to start off saying that this book gives off the wrong first impression. This is YA about vampires, but it is not angsty, spooky, sexy, no, 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 no. It's hilarious and strange and sinister all at the same time. I love this book now, but Initially, I gave it a three star because of the ending. How, how do I say this? This ending does not even register on your mental radar of possible endings. It just comes out of nowhere. So initially, I didn't know what to make of this and I gave it three stars, but I eventually did come to love what the ending does for this book. This is an unofficial favorite now. It's one of my favorite YA books. Read this and Tell me that you're reading it so we can talk about it. The last book I have to talk about today, I just read last month and I already changed my mind about it, and that is The Vegetarian by Han Kang. You might recall, as I just read this, that I was a little on the fence about it. I gave it a three star. Initially, I didn't appreciate how the author wrote the main character, and I didn't understand why she wrote her the way she did, until Joss from Squibbles Reads left a lovely comment explaining why she did love the book and why she did like the way that the main character was written. And it goes to show you the value of discussing literature because I thought about her comment a lot and something just clicked into place for me. I think I understand more of the author's intentions now, and now I think of The Vegetarian as more of an examination 
on how mentally ill people can be manipulated and how they can be othered, which is a very important topic and something about the book that I now appreciate a lot more. This went from a 3 to a solid 4 stars. Joss is very smart. Thanks, Joss. So those are all the books that I wanted to talk about today. Let me know if there are any books that you totally did a 180 on. It's so weird when that happens, but kind of cool. And I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye!